Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and another video. Today I am just taking you guys along with me for my days off. I have just worked eight days at work in a row and I just felt a bit distant from you all because I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged or done anything like that. So I just thought I was going to take you for my one day off and then I thought, do you know what? Let's spend two days together and see what I get up to on my day off. I've still got like a flipping blood blister on my finger and it's actually driving me insane. It happened nearly a month ago now and it's still on my finger. Look, how long does it take to get rid of a blood blister? I don't know, I had one for three weeks. Three weeks? It's been a month. Still got it. It's flipping annoying me. Anyway. <laughs> and one of the girls at work says to me, just get a pin and pop it out. And it's just like completely flat to my skin. It's just really disgusting and it's annoying me. But anyway, yeah, we are currently on our way to pick up a food delivery. We've got about a half an hour drive. Um, because I'm filming a separate video on my channel. Basically, a lot of you said you wanted to see a different weekly food shop haul because obviously on the island we've got the co-op and you all know that's the only supermarket we've got. But we... <laughs> but we thought we'd do switch it up a bit this week and we'd go to Asda because a lot of you didn't realise that we can actually get Asda at Tesco delivery to the island but you've just got to travel like the Tesco one's a bit closer but I wanted to get Asda and that's about half an hour away so yeah that's what we're gonna do and we've got to just drive in there now it's literally so bad the weather in Scotland at the moment I'd love to know if you're in England what the weather is like below because we started the year off in England obviously and it was we didn't see rain the whole time we were there and I just feel like we're living we're in actually, we didn't did we um, I feel like Lou we're living in the wrong location the minute we got back to Scotland it has literally not stop raining every single day since we got back so um just not happy about this life do you know what i mean and our hearts will be whole again i want to remember all that happened to us Cause see it one sec um, I actually can kind of see it a little bit blue here anyway guys over there there's this thing called spin drift where the water is going up the mountain oh my gosh Lou, you can kind of see it on the camera here um oh gosh was overtaking um it's called spin drift and Lou's saying that when he's out on the boats you sometimes get caught up in that but oh my gosh it is wild out there on my days arrived at the car park where as Devan's meant to be and he's not here. Um, it is currently how many miles per hour winds Lou? Oh, 50. 50 miles per hour winds. Oh he's here our Asda dude's here. Yes! Just picked up the Asda food shop delivery. The guy was lovely and the service was absolutely amazing. I mean the guy was just so nice. Um, but now I'm going into the co-op to get the bits that you can't get in Asda that I wasn't I wasn't 100 percent sure and I wanted to pick myself so I'm gonna get some stir fry veg in there and what else was I gonna get? some milk and bread and that's what I'm gonna get so I'll be back I might even get some of them lentil crisps in there too okay that's what I'm gonna let's get one of these baby trolleys us back from um, the co-op and Asda picking the Asda delivery up um, and now we're just going to get a bit of lunch I'm going to unpack the shopping but I'm filming that on a different video so I'm not going to actually show you guys what I got in the delivery but I did get like a, a loads of bags of food um, and I got a huge bag in the co-op as well where did I put that one from the co-op oh there it is um, because I got bits in the co-op as well and the reduction bay but I got some good bits I think we're just going to have a bit of lunch and a cup of tea and then we're going to head down and see Lou's dad for a bit and that's the plan of action just now um, but yeah that's what we're going to do just now and it's just literally horrific outside all I want to do is once we've been to Lou's dad is put my pyjamas on and just chill out you know 
So we're just back from Lou's dad's and I'm literally just popping home now. We've been at Lou's dad's for like the last two hours. So I'm literally just popping home. I'm gonna take my eye makeup off. Ma makeup? Oh, <laughs> take my eye makeup off because we are actually, I'm actually gonna go and get pampered now. I'm gonna go get my eyelashes lift and tint done because honestly, I had not realized how much an essential eyelash lift and tint was needed until I started getting it done in October. And now I get it done every sort of five or six weeks, but I've left it a little bit longer this time. And it's literally non, I have no eyebrow eyelashes no eyelashes at all so i'm going to quickly take my makeup off because i'll just go without any makeup on to the appointment and then um i'll show you guys what it looks like after but first of all let's get the makeup off so that's my makeup off and most of them like all my mascara and everything but look at before i have literally no eyelashes whatsoever and i'll see you guys in about an hour and a bit and i will show you guys what it looks like when i get my eyelashes done so i will see you in a second I'm just out of my eyelash appointment and look how amazing my eyelashes look. Oh my gosh, I literally love them so flipping much. Um, look at that, it looks like literally a different person. I look a bit red, a bit... Um, my eyes are still a little bit blurry, but if you've never thought about getting a lash lifting tint, I highly recommend them. I just feel like it changes your whole face. Um, my eyes are a little bit sore after it, but my eyes are just a little bit sore after it but I think it's just because they've been closed for like an hour but yeah I'm so chuffed with it and now I'm going to go home and I think we're having steaks and maybe some sweet potato fries or something for dinner um, and that's what we're going to do we're not having the whole shebang we're just going to have steaks it's perfect. I think some kind of sweet potato chip on the side and some vegetables <laughs> why do I have to say that's so weird I don't even know but yeah that's my eyelashes done and I'm going home let's get our pyjamas on get a hot water bottle and get cosy Oh, you can see me in the, in the thing. Right, I'm back at the house now. Um, and I've taken, well, I had all my makeup off anyway, but I'm literally back at the house. I've put my cozies on and literally, can you spot anything in there? I've got my hot water bottle hidden under my tracksuit bottoms. It looks like I am, one sec. Looks like I am with child. But really, I've got the worst stomach cramps in the universe. I put a bit of YouTube on now. I'm gonna watch a couple of vlogs while Lou is popped out down to his dad's. And we are having steaks for dinner, um, but they're not our usual steaks that we would go for. They're kind of, this is them, let me show you. I spotted these in the, in the reduction bay and I just thought they come with a peppercorn butter thing. And we're going to have them with just some broccoli. It, we usually would have the full works of a steak, but tonight we're just having these with some broccoli, on, raw onion, raw onion chopped up. Um, just frying off some mushroom and put these under the grill in a bowl to heat up. Um, and some sweet potato chips and just thought it would be quite a nice little dinner but I have a thing feeling that I do have some kind of peppercorn sauce in the cupboard so I'm going to search that out because I kind of feel like I want a peppercorn sauce but although I've just contradicted myself and told you guys that I didn't um, I'm going to do it with this but just in case that's not very nice I'm going to go and see if I can find the other one in the cupboard yeah, Hola. So dinner is now, okay? now, now I've got Cory on the TV <laughs> So guys, I've had my dinner. It's currently midnight, but I fancy a snack. So I'm gonna get one of these raspberry um, ice cream thingy that we've got today in the cup, in on the Asda food delivery. And I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so I can't wait. Oh. Happy Friday, everybody. So I am currently out of the house by quarter to I am going to get my nails done. So first of all, I've got to go to Le Banc and take some money out. And then I'm going to go and get... Definitely not oh my gosh, I'm cutting it slightly fine time. Well, I'll see you once I've had these nails done. They're really nice at the moment. I think I'm going to go for something a bit more brighter, a bit more colourfuller. Um, so yeah, see you on a sec. So I'm just out of the... Um, from getting my nails done and then I also popped to the local um, like little cafe thing to get some lunch for me and Lou but these are my nails oh my gosh aren't they absolutely amazing I literally love them I think they're up there with my favorite nails she's ever done they're kind of like foils and um, that she put there's loads of different colored foils on them and I just literally think they're amazing so then I popped to Jan's like it's a local um, I think I feel like my camera's a little bit too close on this thing then I put to Jan's, like a local, um, it's like a, it sells everything in there. And I got two soups, so I'm gonna put them in a little cup holder so they don't spill on the way home. I've got two soups, and then I got some toasties as well. So we're gonna go home, and I'm literally gonna put on pajamas. In fact, that's not gonna fit in there. I'm gonna go and put um, 
put pajamas on and just chill out. That is my plan of action because I am so fucking in pain with this girl situation that I need, I just need to go home and just be cozy. I texted Lou, I'm like, please put me a hot water bottle and please can you um, put, get, get me a hot water bottle and a cup of tea ready so I can just put my pajamas on and get maybe even get the duvet into the living room um, and my hair's really irritating me today I just feel like it looks really thin um, I really want to get like extensions but the same length extensions of my hair just to give it a, like a, maybe a little bit of an oomph do you know what I mean but I'm not sure how I'd go about getting extensions and um, yeah I think it'd be a bit of a confusing process but anyway let's go to the house and um, just have some food I am so hungry so hungry it's like unreal how hungry I am right now just got in made a hot water bottle and I've got chorizo, red relish or something and pepper and mozzarella in my toasty and I've got some tomato soup with it. I'm just going to sit down and chill out for half an hour and eat this. I've also put my hair up in a little ponytail and I've put my lounge bare bottoms on because that's life. Uh, we are now out for a dog walk with the dogs. It's currently how? What time is it? It's like half seven. Don't even know. Eight o'clock, something like that. Um, but we just thought we'd come out and get a. It's this this walk actually lose about ten k steps. It's around about that. So I track it on my Fitbit all the time because I'd love to beat people on the <coughs> Fitbit walls. So yeah, we're just out enjoying the dry weather since I think Storm Brendan's finally passed. So we're back from my walk now. Um, we just literally spent the afternoon on the sofa basically. I haven't even like kind of put, like gone on and said what we've been up to, but we went out and did some bits. I just sat on the sofa in a bowl of pain because my stomach's been so much pain today. I've just put some loungewear on. We're back from the walk. We did about 8,000 steps, seven, 8,000 steps. Um, so yeah, now we've got Love Island on the TV. I love a bit of Love Island um, and then now Lou's going to have some chicken and some veg I think for dinner and I'm going to have some pasta because I just fancy a bowl of pasta for dinner tonight um, and we'll watch Love Island. Let me know in the comments, are you watching Love Island? What are you guys thinking? Just turned midnight um, and Lou's just finishing off the programme we're watching. We started watching a programme called, um, what's it called? It's called White house farm on stv and oh my goodness it's really good it's like a murder documentary kind of program um and i could just see it been really good there's two episodes up at the moment so we're gonna watch the last half an hour of this episode now so basically what i was saying is lou's not starting watching it but i started watching it without him then he really he sort of tuned in for a few minutes halfway he was like oh i really want to watch that so he's just watching that right now while i'm in the room getting it to the part i was at originally um but yeah, I recommend it so far. It's really good. It's based on like an old murder thingy that went on years ago. So it's really good. But yeah, I hope you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed um, spending the last couple of days with me on my days off. It was actually quite nice for once filming like um, my days off and what I get up to. As you can see, I had a bit of a pamper a couple of days off. Um, and it was really nice actually. So I got my nails done. Are they going to oh, focus? Look how amazing they are. What's that? Let me show the camera. Look how amazing they are. I absolutely love it. Um, it's by a lady called Janie, um, who's local to me. But um, I always tag her over my Instagram, so if you want to see that, my Instagram's down here somewhere. But if you're local and you want to get your nails done, honestly, she's amazing. Guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm getting all hot because we had the heating up and now it's, we're turning the heating off because it's bedtime. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. I've got a couple of exciting videos coming this week, um, this next week. I've got, uh, I'm going to do it either, actually let me know in the comments what you would prefer. Would you prefer me to do like a monthly, like a favourites video? Because I always try and do one of them like every three months. Um, would you like me to do a favourites video? and a Primark favourites video. I thought it would be quite a fun one. I did that a few months ago too and people liked it. Would you like me to do two separate kind of favourites videos this next week and do it as like a little theme and a vlog as well? Um, I've also got a Q&A um, video I want to film. I keep putting off filming it. Um, but I've got about 15 good questions at the moment but you can maybe put pop a, um, a question in the comments box below as well if you want to ask me any questions for the Q&A and I will definitely answer them because I'm going to film that for next week too so I think I'm going to have three or four videos up next week so yeah um, stay tuned for all of them guys I would love it if you did and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button too it would mean the world to me um, but I've really loved vlogging this last couple of days so I will be back ASAP with another vlog too and I'll see you all very soon in my next video bye guys thank you for watching Let's wrap it up and it
Hit the road, I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind up, oh snap